Hi there, this is a tutorial on how to use my monthly calendar Excel spreadsheet. So here at the top, we're going to select what month we want to use. So this is February. You can also change the year. And let's see, let's go back to January. Okay, so here um, on every day, uh, you have the opportunity to write in each cell. So you can say that you have a meeting at 1 p.m. And then once you put that in there, it will highlight in light pink the um, meeting time. Uh, Tuesday, we can say we have walk at 10 a.m. Okay, and so let's move that out of here. Now you can see on every day, it looks like there's like a recurring item. And I will show you that over here way to the right. So if we have recurring items, you can put that on each cell. Make sure that it is the first item for that day. So if you have something else, say you have a walk at four and you wanted to change your ballet at five, make sure to delete that out first. Then go in on your Monday and delete that here. So your first item for the day that's a recurring, it needs to be the recurring item. Um, okay, so let's add something in. Let's delete all these and start fresh. Okay, so we have a fresh calendar. And then we'll go in and say, we're going to have something planned on Mondays. We're going to do soccer practice, 4 p.m. Let's do soccer, 4 p.m. Let's do meeting at 12 p.m. on Tuesdays. Let's do date night on Fridays. All right, so Monday, Tuesday, Friday, we've got something and it's gonna be regularly occurring every single week. Even as you travel onto a different month, it's going to uh, keep that regularly occurring item. Okay. And then after that, so say you've got another um, meeting at 1 p.m., it will just not have to be after that. Okay, so now let's move on to this section here on the right. It says today's date. This is going to automatically be today every time. So you don't have to change that. It will automatically be your date. Um, so that's just an automatic formula. The next thing is a to-do list. So you can write your to-dos as you have them. So let's have um, Okay, so we're gonna have a to-do list of shopping for groceries. And then as you have your to-do list, you can check them off or uncheck them or delete them as needed. And then once you uncheck your box, it will turn into white instead of light pink. Goals, you can put your goals here. So whatever your goal is, you can write that there. And then there's an extra, section here for notes. So that is it. That is how to work the calendar. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a good day.